Hello everyone, this is Henry Laxamana from Champion Life Centre Toronto. I'm here to report to you the state of our Toronto satellite. Looking at 2015, it's such a joy to report to you God continued to draw us closer to Him and to each other. We started the year with a celebration of love, where our married couples renewed their vows to strengthen their relationship with each other and their families according to God's design. Also, our young adults attended the Relentless Retreat in the month of May that reignited their passion for Jesus. We held our church camp at Elim Lodge where we enjoyed family time, food and laughter. We had team building exercises like the Amazing Race where we got to know how to work together and be a team. We also had water baptism in our church camp last year. Our L5 community group leaders spent a weekend in October for our annual planning. It was a valuable time of learning and discussing future plans for the growth of the church. We held our Easter presentation sharing the great love of Christ through drama, songs, and the Word. Also during the Christmas season, we connected to our neighborhood, to our communities, where we sang songs, Christmas carols, and gift giving, and also inviting them to join in our Christmas banquet. I would like to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the L5, our life group leaders, ministry leaders, volunteers, and all the members who have participated in making 2015 a great year. All the glory to God. So let us continue to pursue God's kingdom for this year, 2016. God bless you all. To our Champion Life Center family, warm greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a blessing has been to reflect for a moment to look upon our year. It's a year where God has clearly been up to something, for there is much that is new in our lives together as a family. We are amazed of the journey that has begun through the year 2015. It is the fulfillment of God's plan of having our own place of worship, which is a true evidence of His supernatural wills. Our church family has lots of laughter, hope, passion, and commitment based on the kingdom culture that imparted to us family, hospital, keeping an army. We are full of faith who loves and cares for one another, for our community and for the world. In response to the love of God in our lives and desiring to share the light of Christ, I thank God and appreciate the leaders, workers, and the congregation who are involved in various ministries and networks. They continually share the joy that they experience in serving the Lord. For year 2016, our theme is each one win one for Jesus. Taken from the book of John chapter 15 verse 16, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I have appointed you and placed and purposely planted you so that you would go and bear fruit and keep on bearing, and that your fruit will remain and be lasting, so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name as my representative, He may give it to you. I'm thankful for all God's blessing this past, grateful for the support, encouragement, and devotion of so many who are called to worship and serve us as members of CLC family. All glory, honor, and praise belongs to our God Almighty, your fellow worker in Christ, Reverend Ronald Baldimoro, Champion Life Center, London, Branch Pastor. Hello Champions, greetings from your Cambridge and Guelph satellite. Here are our highlights for the year 2015. May you be blessed just as we were. Have a great day. In 2015, we started the year with our first church-wide extended prayer and fasting that saw powerful testimonies birthed. To share a specific highlight, the miraculous survival of one of our members' premature-born granddaughter. 
after doctors declared a slight chance of survival. With much ongoing intercession from the church, the baby is now healthy and well. Praise be to God. Another highlight was our early morning Valentine's celebration at Galt View Restaurant, where couples, young and old, as well as single parents were encouraged with the Word of God and had unforgettable romantic fun as well. Spring is a season of new beginnings, and with that, we had our first water baptism celebration in the church. Seven members submitted themselves for baptism and declared their commitment to follow Christ. Glory to God! Spring cleaning anyone? For the first time, Cambridge and Guelph Champions partnered with the City of Guelph in a community-wide cleanup initiative. Around 20 of us, including kids, took the time to diligently clean up our city in May. In the summer months of 2015, we had the honor and privilege of hosting our Overseas Filipino Workers Appreciation Day. We had over 30 guests come and join us, coming from Stratford, Kitchener, Cambridge, and Guelph, and many of whom were very appreciative for being remembered for all their labor and all their hard work and sacrifices. Our family camp was a well-attended event with close to 70 participants braving the great outdoors with us. There was no shortage of fun activities like fishing, swimming, biking, and even shelter building competition was incorporated into the day's activity. We had hiking, canoeing, and the funnest of all activities, feasting. It was a wonderful time of making memories as we held our worship service under the Father's open heavens. Our champion kids were the happiest when October came and we finally got to have our first Hallelujah Sunday where all the kids and champion kids teachers played dress up. Many of the kids heard for the first time the truth about Halloween followed by lots of games and treats. Our biggest highlight of the year was our move to Courtright Presbyterian Church in Guelph. Yes, we are officially Cambridge Guelph champions and no longer just Cambridge. Finally, what better way than to end the year with some loud laughters and cheers? We had our first countdown to 2016 at Courtright and boy did we have so much cozy fun with our pajama party. Greetings from Calgary. These are the highlights for the year 2015. We have three major equipping seminars for the year 2015. The first is our leadership equipping with the lead pastors, Pastor Jerry and Pastor LV in the month of March. It was an intensive three weeks training with the leaders and workers of the church about fathering and sonship and other related topics. It was a very wonderful time of learning and receiving and at the same time, an opportunity to bond with Pastor Jerry and Pastor Elvi. The second equipping seminar is with Pastor Roy Brasolza in the month of September, entitled Unlocking the Book of Revelation. It was an enlightenment to many and a great reminder to others about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It inspires us all to continue to be on fire in serving the Lord and at the same time, a wake-up call to be faithful in building the kingdom of God. The third is building a strong financial house with Reverend Neil Campbell. In such a time like this, that the province of Alberta is experiencing a great economic crisis, we were comforted, encouraged, and directed by God through His Word on what to do and how to face the situation with the right mindset and the right heart attitude. Now we also have the community outreach. We did several community outreaches for the year. The first is a stampede celebration last July. Though it was a stormy day, yet we pushed through with the event. The workers of the church rose early in the morning and went to the center and prepared grilled hot dogs and sausages for our guests. Despite the stormy weather, we were able to serve 11 guests and the whole church. It was also a great time of fellowship and celebration with all the members of the church since it is Sunday. The second is our outreach to the community of Erin Woods in the month of August. For the last two years, we have been praying for this community, 
asking God how we may be able to reach out to them and serve them and let them know that there is a church close to them where they could go. And this year, we have prepared something special for these people and their families. The first is our youth mini concert and free dinner. On a Friday night, our young people in the church had a mini concert. They sang songs and played music for our guests and shared some testimonies too, while free dinner is being served by the women in the church. The next day was Family Fun Day. The whole day of Saturday was a great fun day for the children in the community and the church as well, where we have prepared inflatable bouncers for all of them, and we have the support of all our children teachers who took care of the event. We also have arts and crafts, face painting, and balloon twisting. We also had indoor games for the adults and parents of the children who are enjoying themselves outside the building with the inflatable bouncers. There was also the sharing of the Word of God delivered by one of our community leaders and we were able to minister to around 20 families on the two-day event. We also gave away stuff like clothes, shoes, bikes, and others to the people in the community for free. Last December, one of the projects of our youth was the distribution of groceries to the families in the same community of Erin. One of our community groups also blessed families in the church with free groceries. And in the same month, the church also had the opportunity to minister to the Alzheimer's Society of Calgary. We prepared small gifts to the people, both patients and staff together, with beautiful special presentations from our youth. We also had the opportunity to share God's word to them. The management was so thankful that we brought joy and love to their clients and staff as well during Christmas season. And for the first time in six years, the church gathered together at the center on the 31st of December to have the candlelight service and the countdown. A great number of families in the church were able to make it at the event and really had a great time of celebrating together. And our statistic report for 2015, total number of members and regular attenders, 217, total number of youth, 23, total number of children, 31, total number of members, 188, total number of water baptized, 8, total number of born again, 35, total number of guests, 93, Average weekly attendance, 160, and voting members, 139. That's our report for the year 2015. Blessings to everyone. Good day, champions. I'm Pastor BJ Lopez of CLC Philippines, and I'm here to let you know that we have a 35 as our average attendance every Sunday. In the youth and young adults, we have 17 as our regular attendance every Sunday. And just this year, in January of 2016, we had our first ever youth and young adult fellowship and we had 16 in our attendance. Our champion cage is growing so fast. We have 53 attendance every Sunday. And just this January of 2016, we decided to divide our champion cage into two, from 1 to 7 years old and from 8 to 13 years old. And we have a very good, we have a very good pictures. Last year of 2015, we also have 30 visitors who came to visit our church. And I'm very pleased to let you know that out of 30, 16 of them became regular attendees of our church. 2015 is also the birth of our two new life groups, 10 born agains and two baby dedications. This is Pastor Bijay Lopez. God bless you all.